Hey, what's up? Sam here. Today, we are reviewing the Calceris A6 4K triple laser projector. This project offers a triple color laser technology, 2200 angst lumens of brightness, and then up to 120 inch 4K resolution projection. And most importantly, it only costs you 1999 US dollars. Though, only a limited number are available for that price. To buy this, you can find the link in the description. But is it worth the money? In this video, I will test every bit of it and I give you my honest opinion. Starting with the unboxing, this is what that's included in the box. We have a detailed multi-language manual, a remote controller and its batteries, a power cable, and another small box that's for a TV box and its accessories. Lastly, of course, the Casaris A6 projector. Let me walk you through the design. The Casaris A6 offers numerous ports. It has an Ethernet port, two HDMI inputs, a digital audio out, a micro USB service port, a USB-A port, and a power port on the back. In addition to those, there's a side USB-A port beside the right height adjusting wheel. Speaking of that, you can adjust the height of the feet by rotating the wheels whenever needed. To the side, we see the air ventilation in it and outlet on both sides. Make sure you don't block them while the projector is on. We can also see there is an infrared receiver down by the Casaris logo. That's where your remote controller should point at when operating. The speaker is at the front facing to the viewers, which is good. But for the sound performance, let's test it later. Moving to the top, there is a power button. Most importantly, we have the lens. Also, we found two eye protection sensors beside the lens, which are used to detect whether a human has moved in or out of the sensor's range. That's the design. I like the grey finish on it, which gives me a sense of high tech. It feels rather premium and beautiful. Most importantly, it's not annoying heavy, so you can move it from place to place easily. To use the projector, firstly, we connect it to the power source, press once on the power key. Then we can see the front indicator light up. Wait for a few seconds, then you will be welcomed by the super cool Casaris animation. I absolutely love that. After that, we choose the language, projection mode, Teresa. Just follow the steps and you will get to the home interface. Easy peasy. Let's jump to the image quality directly as this is probably the most important thing for a projector. Just for the record, the Casaris A6 supports up to 150 inch projection according to the official information. I really wanted to show that, but since I don't have that gigantic size wall to show it on, so instead I'm showing you an approximate 110 inch projection. Please just enjoy some of the testing clips I'm about to display. Don't they? The day I was shooting the test clips, there was a significant amount of ambient light in my room, but definitely the 2200 angst lumens of brightness nailed it. Bright images look punchy and vibrant, with surprisingly rich colors and a level of eye-catching intensity that projectors just aren't supposed to be able to manage in a light room. In addition to the brightness, the Casaris A6 offers 4K UHD resolution, HDR10, 107% BT 2020 gamut HRSA. That means it will show us more details like when we watch high dynamic range movies or videos. I've got to say, it is just such an enjoyable experience. Even my daughter Christina is so happy about it. And now, the sound quality. I think the Casaris A6 has the loudest sound among all the projectors I've tested so far. Because even my neighbors enjoyed it so much that they invited the police to come over. <laughs>
Lazarus SX allows you to add an external speaker via Bluetooth as well. But of course, if you really want to enjoy a true immersive viewing experience, regardless of daytime or at night, go get an AR screen. Ambient light rejecting screen, this is no joke. Just check some of the clips I put there. Please note that I've turned on my 64 watt ceiling light. The image is just crazy good. If just for a first glance, you might think I'm showing you a TV, isn't it? Not sure if the facial accessories will offer an AR screen or something later, but the AR I'm showing you in the video is the Vivid Storm S Pro. It is a full screen, no need to go through complicated assembly, it's ready to go out of the box and easy to operate. I would say it is the best sidekick for good quality projectors like Casseries. On the software side, I think the Casseries SX is the most rich feature one I've ever seen. Basically everything you can think of, it has. The Casseries SX offers numerous light modes like bright, standard, high and low dynamic range. You can even customize it. I tried each and I found they have subtle differences. This I guess is good for those viewers who have strict color demands. It has an eye protection mode. Whenever someone or something approaches it, the product will quickly lower the brightness to end the eye protection mode. This is great for those families that have kids or pets. Another feature I have to mention is the MEMC, namely motion estimation, motion compensation feature. It will just make the viewing experience smoother and less blurry. The edit point keystone correction is a big plus. I can always adjust the image to the best position. Something else that's included but I didn't have a chance to test is the TV box. It allows you to access 7000 plus native apps including Netflix, HBO, etc. As time is tight, I'll just leave it to you to explore that feature more if you get a chance. Now, my conclusion. I've reviewed several good quality laser projectors in the past, but I think the Casseries outperforms in the triple color laser technology that delivers true stunning, gigantic image quality. Tons of good features, good sound, and especially the price. Not so many projectors of those at this price tag. It's definitely worth it if you want to enjoy your moving viewing experience to the fullest. And if you are interested in this product, please check out the link in the description and don't miss the chance. Because that 1999 price is only for a limited number of early buckets. The price will go way up when the campaign ended. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.